my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how I modified my Canon S5IS to work without the 7.4 volt DC connector and um, here I'm using the also with the batteries, with rechargeable batteries. So those are something like that backup battery when the main spore uh, goes off for some reason. So yeah, it was really kind of hack <laughs> what I made here. I was just soldering two wires to uh, the two IKEA rechargeable battery, negative and the positive terminals. And to show you what happens here, here is the simplified connection diagram of the camera. Here is the plus and the minus. Uh, terminal of the battery pack here is one, two, three, four battery inside. They connecting <coughs> or short circuiting two points here, and this is here the two metal on the battery holder plate. There is another short circuit inside, it, but uh, what you cannot see is somewhere inside the camera. <coughs> So basically, if you want to charge the battery and to supply the camera with uh, external voltage, you have to use that two point here. And this is why I'm soldered <coughs> the wire to the negative and the positive terminal of the battery. My power supply, ta da! It's a four point. 9 volt. I'm not sure if it's visible. So it's a 4.9 volt and uh, 450 milliamps power supply from an old Sony Ericsson phone. So it was kind of garbage. And it's a new life for this. So we are happy. This was free with some extension <laughs> of the cable using some old uh, cable which was also garbage and yeah for installing it's a little bit tricky you have to put it like this there are small holes between the two battery and you have to find a place for the wire that was one, and that's that's another. So a few. If it works, uh, it it have some play in and out, then it's okay. And I find the best place to route the wire here. That that way, and please take care not to make a short circuit, because this even can catch fire because those kind of battery packs can, can be able to drive 5 or 10 amps and this can heat up with the wall wire but uh, yeah okay if you're not not moving this part really often then it's not an issue try to close it down You can see it's sweet. It's, it's, yeah, here is some gap. And the, the battery was almost empty when I installed it. So it. <laughs> don't want to turn on. So. Here is the trick. Start to charge the battery. Even with the flashlight and the the big LCD screen. If 
Fantastic. Voltage here. It's really difficult with one hand, sorry. <laughs> As you can see it's four point yeah, slightly char charging and it's a good uh, good choice <sighs> this battery uh, charger or smartphone charger because uh, not smartphone but it was an old phone charger because it has something like that uh, 5.1 voltage output so it will never overcharge the batteries uh, because the maximum voltage for 4 AA battery is uh, 6 volt so it will never be full charged but who cares it's just for some um, buffer state mode so enjoy your new camera thanks for watching